Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 533. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Upset link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 533 to 531 to 533. In this trick, we have a start date and time and an end date and time. And we want to calculate the difference between these excluding holidays and weekends. And here's uh, our holidays. First, let's look at the net work days function. Now, if you want to see how to, we're going to do net work days uh, with Saturday and Sunday as the weekend. If you want, you can search uh, Excel is fun. I have a video on an array formula that can calculate weekends that are not Saturday and Sunday. And I also show you how to use the 2010 function, that one there. Hey, our start date, comma, end date comma and holidays and that's it. I'm going to highlight the whole range just in case we have some more there. And that's it. It knows. It goes through and finds all the Saturdays and Sundays and these holidays and excludes them in the count. That'll give us 16. But wait a second. We need time also. So uh, I'm going to control C and right in this cell I'm just going to do the formula for the total difference uh, days and time. I'm going to say the later date time minus the earlier date time. Okay, so 22 days and 8 hours, because 0.33 is 24, is one third of the way through a 24 hour day. That's not going to work. Uh, remember we have 16, right? But we really want to somehow get to that, uh, just that extra little part, that 0.33. Uh, there's a couple ways we could do this. That's 22 minus 0.33. So we could say minus the int of that. And uh, C7 minus this. This is going to give us 22. This will give us the whole. So when we subtract them, we get 0.33. Then we could just put our control V, our net working days function, and say plus that whole thing. Control Enter. What's that? That's formatting. The keyboard shortcut to remove all uh, number formatting is Control Shift tilde. It's one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Control Shift tilde. Uh, now, still another way to do that. So that's 16 and uh, a third days, or 16 days, eight hours. Another way we could do this is, um, and maybe more efficient, is to use the mod function. We could say the mod of this minus this. Remember, that's 22.333. Well, what happens? What is the mod function? First off, the mod function, you remember in third grade, uh, 2 divided by uh, 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 1. It took me a while there. Mod gives us the remainder. So what if I just divide 22.33 by 1? What's the remainder? 0.33. So that's a clever way of getting just the uh, decimal part of a number. And sure enough, that's what we need. We need to add it. So we need to add that 0.33. Control Shift tilde. Now, if you wanted, you, then you could do whatever formula or formatting you wanted. I'm just going to say uh, equals the int of that. And then ampersand, Shift 7, and then double quote, space, days, space, and double quote. Um, and then ampersand again. And how about I use the hour function? Notice I put a, a space there and there, and I'll just use the hour. Now, time is funny. If uh, it only looks at the decimal part, if I have 0.33, it says 8 a.m. If I have 1.33, it says 8 a.m. 16.33, it says 8 a.m. This is just going to deliver the hour. So that would be 16 days 8. And then we could do the, a similar thing. Copy, Control V, and then double click that and type um, hours. You could do the minute function also. If you had minutes, just that same construction with minutes. Get rid of that right there. Oh, I don't need that either. Probably faster to type one th that one out than uh, uh, copy and paste. All right, Control V, there we go, 16 days, 8 hours. All right, uh, holidays, exclude weekends and holidays in your date, time, calculation. All right, we'll see you next trick.